Okay, so, uh, hello guys, welcome back. Uh, some of you may be watching this on YouTube later, so you can kind of tell where the breakups happen. This is, uh, my second sit-down for another stream. Uh, and hello to everyone in the chat right now on Twitch. Good stuff, man. I'm rocking the, uh, Cecil pa uh, Paladin, uh, hooded sweatshirt I got a little while ago. I'm looking over at the chat, I'm looking over at Dog Cam. Hey, Bailey. Hey, Lulu. Hey guys, are you ready for some Final Fantasy VI? Hey Bailey, do you want to play some Final Fantasy VI? Hey Lulu, you want to play some Final Fantasy VI? <laughs> They're excited, man. <laughs> Bailey, are you excited for Final Fantasy VI today? We're going to Mount uh, Colts? Or, yeah, Mount Colts. Still called that, I guess. Was it always called that? And, uh, yeah, man, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to be continuing my walkthrough. No speed runs, no craziness. It's going to be a complete and full run through of this game, of course. I voice the character's dialogue. I do things spoiler free. And uh, I've eaten the meat of a lion. I'm serious. What else? What else can I say? <laughs> what else can I say? I haven't even posted all the vids from uh, the first live stream yet, unfortunately. I don't know, man. It was just too much live streaming, you know? I don't, I don't know what I can tell you, but I will post the whole thing up on YouTube, my Dave the Usher YouTube page. So without further ado, uh, Edgar, Locke, Terra, they've been whoop, leveled up a little bit, level 13, just for, you know, a little bit now for this whole stream, I'll be fine level-wise, you know, so everything will be okay and I don't have to deal with annoying stuff and whatever. Uh, okay, so let's see, Mount Colts, how you doing? How are you? Is this the place? Is Mount Colts the place where I discovered a treasure chest that took me like so many playthroughs to discover it? I might be mixed up in thinking about another mountain, you know? I mean, these mountains, they have the same layout, they have the same music. There is another example. Uh, it's not a mountain. I'm inside a place, and I'm walking along, I'm walking through it, and I found a secret, <clears throat> a secret compartment or whatever, and I discovered uh, an item, a weapon, really, and I was like, whoa, dude, I never found this weapon ever! This is crazy! So, uh, no, no, nothing hidden here, nothing hidden here, you gotta, around here, but this wasn't it, no. Uh, Zagrem. I always hate... Um, I always hate these re-release games in, in this aspect, this aspect, uh, that they always rename all the monsters, and I don't like that, man. You know, you guys with me? Maybe they rename them and the names make more sense, or, I don't even care if they make more sense. Because <clears throat> to me, it doesn't matter. No, just the old, the old ways, the first ways. Yeah, like, that is a weapon for Locke. What was that called? The Air Lasset? I think so, dude. Or may maybe something else. Maybe. Uh, this is... Well... No, I think this is specifically just for Locke. And how do we find that out? You go... Yeah, you go down here. Short dagger is sometimes... Bobbity bop. Um... Oh, right, yeah. Equip by, that's how you tell, that's how you can tell, uh, you know, who can equip what. Just go to your menu, your item menu, and just check it out. I mean, you know, that's nice. So, yeah, let's equip that. It's gonna make Locke a little tougher. You know, we're looking good HP-wise, um, stat-wise. I got everything equipped, I got relics equipped. Zagrum, what were they called originally? I don't know. What was called Mind Candy? Rock Candy? Or Mind Candy? I, the words Rock and Mind are pretty similar. I might be thinking of like two enemies or... Rock Candy. Or, I'm, I'm being serious here. I might be totally way off. I could be even thinking of another like old Final Fantasy game. Like maybe like... Like two or something. I don't. It sounds familiar. And weren't they flying enemies? Okay, so check it out. We're supposed to go across this bridge, but wait, there is a secret over here, and I don't. I don't think this is. 
I don't know. Was this one I never discovered until like a long, a long while afterwards? And now, here's the thing. In the chest, there's going to be something named different. Bailey. Hey, Bailey. The chest is going to have items that have a different name, so I won't even really be able to tell. Like, oh yeah, that item. You know? Right, Bailey? Yeah, I should look down when I talk. It just doesn't feel right. Right, Bailey? <laughs> down there? No. Um, so here we go. Gigas, Gigas glove. Mm. Well, it's it's a relic. Um, the glove. Yeah, it could have been called. Was that called something else? Glove said to have belonged to a mighty Gigas. Boost the wearer's physical attack power. Um, yeah, man. Give it the lock. I kind of, I kind of like lock. How does it boost the, uh... How does it boost the attack power? Hmm. I don't see any change in the stats. I don't know, man. Oh, look, there's my wife! I'm... I'm... I think she's saying, I'm on my way home, lol. Uh, sh Ty! Are you in the car, watching? Maybe you shouldn't watch while you drive. <laughs> Ty, we're almost out of uh, ground turkey. I'm just letting you know. Maybe, uh, actually, don't don't pick some up because I just I got a coupon, and uh, you know coupons, man. So don't pick up any right now, actually. Okay. My wife. I don't know what she's doing. She's not home yet. She just got off of work. Oh. So yeah, these dudes, these uh, these guys just have different names. These mastodons are gorgeous. Let's just pretend they're called gorgeous. Kind of almost, you know. Oh, Ty says she's walking to the car. Asira says, if I remember right, if I recall correctly. Uh, those stat increases don't show up in your stat screen. Same with the magic, magic earring. Oh, uh, oh yeah? Hmm. Ah, uh, trying to make it back across here. Mount Colts isn't a big deal. Let's get through these battles. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna get through these battles. Ground turkey. Extra lean. Extra boring. Now, I don't want to say that right now, there is an exotic meat in my uh, refrigerator defrosting right now, and some people that don't know me very well are probably like, uh, okay, <clears throat> okay, that's that's nice. Exotic meat? Uh, but, you know, like, uh, like something to eat. Like ground, like ground turkey. Except it's, it's exotic. A la carte. Integrax is now following me. How you doing? Alucard. Or like Dracula style, man? Or Castlevania style, I should say? Well, either way. Um, okay, so it's around this point where we're gonna be noticing something, man. Something shady. And this is the first time we saw, like, that, uh, virus squiggly thing as an enemy. Okay, so in here is... This leads to a chest, right? Tent. And you know what? I don't think this is the area where I found the chest, and I'm like, wow, dude, I've been playing this game for so many years, and I've never found that. I don't think this is the example. I don't think so. Alucard saying, sup, bruh. <laughs> sup, bruh. I don't think there's any more secrets either. Right, Bailey? Mastodon! Mastodon! Anyone? Anybody? You know what I'm talking about? Sometimes you just gotta double bag it, man. You know, your key. Of course. What do you think I'm talking about? Not too hot, man. Oh god, and it's strong, too. Maybe that's why you don't double bag it. Double bag it. 
So I don't know how long I'm gonna... Hey, what is that? It's a mysterious, shadowy figure. What's going on here? Really loving the dog cam, says Barclay. Or Barclay, probably. Hey, Bailey. I mean, what else am I gonna stick in that corner, right? I, I don't know. Can't really make my camera go down even more. That'll be weird and perhaps inappropriate. I can't, I can't do that. I gotta put something down there. And I have an extra webcam. And... You know, dog cam's great, but I mean, how many parts is this gonna go? How many streams? I mean, I got a window right there and a window right there. Well, if I, if I had to use a window because my computer's over here, I'd probably use that window. May I stick stick my other webcam out the window and you guys can see that it's not really interesting out there. Of course, my dogs aren't really doing tricks or anything. Right, Bailey? It's not like they're putting on a show, right? Okay, so this is a save spot. That tells you something. And this is nothing. So you just, you know, you go to the next place. Also, it's at this point where we can, we, we've been able to walk fast, but this is like the new additions of the game. The original version of the SNES, you'd be walking slow. Um, but when you get the sprint shoes, you don't have to, I don't have to hold the button in this version. But now if I do hold the button down, now it's like extra, extra fast, basically. There's like fast and extra, extra fast. I don't know, do we? We don't have to get that crazy, do we? Sup, Obliv Oblivion? Oblivion. You know, it's nice to say hello. Yes, woof. And then. That's the last demonstration. So this is the last day. Trillium. That's not bad. I don't know why. Ooh, it's the Trillium. Where have I heard that, like, word used before? You need to acquire the Trillium. What is that? Anybody? Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's take it off. Going too fast can be like too crazy sometimes. Did anyone like experiment with the Game Genie and uh, Final Fantasy 3 back in the day on SNES? Oh man, 14. Wow, big levels here. But yeah. Um, you know, after playing it so many times, it's like, let's get, like, weird and nuts with Game Genie. Um, you know? Because, of course, it's gonna give you a bunch of perks and make you stronger. And... So after playing it so many times, and I finally, like, got ga uh, bought Game Genie, uh, I would do a bunch of stuff, and then it would, like... I don't know, you could get like cool things, and then sometimes it would mess up your system, or like mess up your game, like glitch style, and I remember this one time it happened, and I ended up with a bunch of items, or was that a code? I don't even know. And because this is the Game Boy Advance, sometimes I suppose a pan is necessary. I'm not used to that. You know, I'm actually aware of a change to the Game Boy Advance version. A change! Uh, from past versions, the SNES and PlayStation version. Um, I don't think we'll get there, but it's kind of coming up soon. So, you know, I, I will... Well, it's kind of hard to miss, you know, for those of you who've played this game. Uh-oh, we're in trouble! But 
But that shadowy figure is taking a break, I guess, or... Hmm. I'll use Terra's magic. Get ready, you know. <coughs> Sometimes when you're doing a live stream, it's nice to have cutscenes, because then I can just kind of sit back and be like... Final Fantasy IX, small cutscenes, but they had them at least, and I could just be like... I could even run to the bathroom real quick, you know? This one, no go. No go. Yep! <laughs> ah, nice and warm, man. Or hot, really. It's cold out, dude. It's getting cold. It's, I got the Cecil Hooded sweatshirt on, man. No level game for luck. Okay. So, okay, now, here's a silly, kind of dumb thing you can do, which does nothing. You go around and talk to this individual over here, rather than face-to-face, -face, and forces you to kind of... Yeah. Saban sent you, didn't he? Yeah. Who are you? Saban? Is he here? Mm. You were the one sneaking around. You were the one sneaking around us the whole way up here, weren't you? I really need to just get over the new dialogue. And if I was? Ha! Huh. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter who you are. I've got no plans to surrender. Woe is the day you met me. It'll be the last day of your lives. The dial, I mean, it's fine and all. So this is Vargas, and uh, he comes with two big bears. Isn't that nice? And they're kind of tough, I guess. <laughs> Vargas was like, hey, I need my bears. Just come on out, please. All right. Well, the fight wouldn't, it wouldn't be as tough. The bears, the Apus, which I believe are still named that in the original version. Maybe. So, my levels are pretty good, but I'm gonna play it safe, you know? I believe you can steal something from Vargas, but is it even worth it? You know, I think it is, so... How hard is it to steal in Final Fantasy VI again? I don't remember. I don't think it's that bad. You can't, you can't hit the switch button to like, all right, we'll come back to you. No, you still have to defend at this point and wait. Let's try again. Come on, what's the matter? Noise blaster. Uh, Drar Drargon is asking me, uh, about Final Fantasy Tactics. What'd you think of it? Script change? What? No way! Um, well, what? <laughs> Enemy has no items. I could've sworn he had a weapon. Well, if he has no... let's go Bio Blaster. If he has no items, he has no items, and we're done here. Let's, uh, kick his ass! Script change! <laughs> well, I mean, it's a pro... I, I would say it's appropriate. It makes sense, sure. Because, okay, well, think of the original dialogue from Final Fantasy VII, you know? This guy are sick, boppity bop. Of course! That was... Cloud always asking things with a question. Old folks! Enough of this! I'll send you all to the great beyond! That's enough, Vargas. Ah! If it isn't Sabin! Why, Vargas? Why did you kill Master Duncan? How could you kill your own father? The fool snubbed me! His only son! He chose you as his successor. That's not true. Our master... It's true, and you know it! It's written in that ugly sneer across your face. He wanted you to be his successor, not me. He knew you had the most potential. I'm sick of listening to your lies. 
I've got far more than just potential. Why don't you see for yourself? Blizzard Fist! Oh, I have to hit the button. Ah, Saban! My father was right to see so much in you. Right, Bailey? I guess there's no avoiding this. Fate made us train together. And now fate will send you to your doom! Uh, uh-oh, I'm used to the SNES and the SNES controls. But I think I'll be okay here. Should I, should I be cocky? What was the, I can do the pummel. What was the suplex? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the pummel. Doomfist, now. Get ready to join your beloved master. But I did the correct code and pulled off a raging fist. Ah! You... You already learned... That technique? Vargas... If only you hadn't been so consumed by pride. Goodbye, bitch. Sabin! Brother? Mm hmm. Hmm. Brother? You're his twin brother? His brother? At first, I thought you were another one of Vargas's bears. You thought I was a bear? <laughs> I guess I'll uh, take that as a compliment. Anyway, Edgar, what are you doing here? We're on our way to the Saber Mountains. To the Returner Hideout, no doubt. Mm-hmm. So, the wheels are finally turning. I've been watching from a distance, hoping the world would regain its senses. The way things were the way things were going, I was afraid Figaro would end up as a puppet state. Mm-mm. A means of striking back has presented itself. There will be no more playing lapdog to the Empire. I'm through with that act. Hmm. Think a bear like me could be of any help? You'd join us? Sabin. Hmm. Hmm. I think Duncan would rest easier, easier knowing his training helped me bring peace to the world. Well then, let's get going. So we got Sabin in our party. Oh man. We got Sabin in our party and oh yeah. You know what's great about Final Fantasy VI is um, when new characters join your party, they're advanced a little to kind of where you're at, even more so. I mean, Sabin, this guy's powerful. Um, no, I didn't do the suplex. Oh well. Um, right, Bailey? How you doing? He's having a good time over there. Uh, but yeah, um, newer characters that join you will be, you know, at your level, you know, like, let's say I leveled up to, like, level 20. Well, then Saban would probably be at level 21, 22 then, you know, instead of level 16 still, you know, when they, when they join you, they're gonna be at where you are at, and that's a nice thing. That's a real nice thing, you know? <clears throat> uh, unlike Final Fantasy IV, and, well, Final Fantasy V, I mean, you're really kind of with the, the lot for the whole thing, really, kind of. So, you know, doesn't, you don't really have to even make that choice, I guess. But it's nice, right? Um, well, Saban, you're new, so... Play up front, and, uh... Okay. He's a tough dude. He's a big old bear, right? Yeah, uh, I'm being asked about Final Fantasy Tactics, and the only version of Final Fantasy Tactics I've ever played is on the PlayStation. Maybe I need to get on that. 
Uh, by the way, I'm going to say this right now. Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy VIII have been on my to-do list for many years, uh, walkthrough-wise, you know? Many years it's been on my list, dude. Dudes, everybody. So, we have four party members. Final Fantasy VI does four party members. Just like uh, five, unlike four. <coughs> so that's it, man. This area is nothing. You know, it's pretty straightforward here. Not good leveling up action here uh, either, so don't waste your time. Raw! Back and back. Hmm. Yeah, my dudes are at good levels. Looking at the stream. How you guys doing? Feel free to ask me any questions. Of course, on YouTube. Obviously, uh, feel free to ask me any questions. There's nothing up here. I missed the... Yeah, it's kind of like, hey! But no. It was uh, to the right. I'm just not really taking that two right now. I need it. Right, Bailey? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, Lulu. Who is your favorite character thus far, Lulu, in Final Fantasy VI? Hey, Lulu, Final Fantasy VI? Sometimes I swear you have to ask it in the form of a question. Lulu, do you, do you like Final Fantasy VI? Lulu, do you want to you wanna play some Final Fantasy VI? Yeah? You want to play some Final Fantasy VI? Come here. You want to play some Final Fantasy VI? Come on. Come here. No? Confused? If I say a couple of uh, specific words, that, that'll get their attention. Ooh, I'm thinking of a... You can do something here in a different way. And it results in a different scenario. And how many... How many scenarios can there be? Two or three different outcomes, kind of? I can't remember. I think three. And I'm going to try, of course, to get the best of the best. Someone's asking me, how powerful compared to Cecil in Final Fantasy IV? How, how powerful is, is Terra compared to Cecil in Final Fantasy IV? I'm not sure of the question. This is the Returner hideout, by the way, obviously, where we're going to go there. Um, powerful in what way? I'm not totally sure. I mean, they're, they're different characters, really. Magic-wise, Terra is probably going to... Cecil wasn't really a big magic caster, not really. King Edgar! This way, please! I'll go this way. So you, you get you regain the control back and you go wherever you want. Well, I'm gonna loot and plunder this place. Have you spoken with Bannon? Can I? No, no free stays. Hmm. Way out over here. Oh, this is the end, right? Yeah. There is a little secret here. Wait, is, where, where is the secret? Was it through the inn? Oh, wow, I can't remember. I'm not going to stay at the inn. No, it was, it was in here. Can I not do it yet? Whatever. Oh, at least Reston's free, so... Hey, Bailey, Lulu, how are you guys? 
How's dog cam? I'm trying to ever think of if I do something different from dog cam, what can I do with the second webcam? Where can I put it? I could put it like here and you can see me from two angles. Wouldn't that be fascinating? No. So I don't I don't know what to do. Ugh. It's cool defenders. The Empire wouldn't even think of looking for our, our for our headquarters here. So yeah, Sabin is uh, with our... Ooh, right, Sabin has a unique ability. Blitz, and you go check it out. You can see all his moves that he has so far. Raging Fist. Aura Cannon. Meteor Strike. Oh, I could I could have done it. It's the same. So far, everything's the same. Yeah, I think so. You could have a tie cam. I could, um, but she would have to be like in the same room. She, yeah, I mean, it all has to, yeah, it has to be all connected through my uh, OBS, and then. So, I mean, she would have to be in the same room, which I guess she could. She could be sitting in that chair over there, which it's it's a chair, a lazy boy. Well, oh, kind of. It's a recliner. So, here we are. Same spot. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to look. Yeah, that's Bannon, obviously. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save in case, like I said, man, when I entered this place, different scenarios, a little bit. So in case I screw up, let's save here. All right. So actually, I gotta I gotta use the bathroom, man. This is a good place to call it for a break. So you know what guys, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call for a break, two minutes, Bailey, Lulu, two minutes, and I'm gonna just let things run, and uh, you can take a break too, I'll be back in like two minutes, alright, good stuff, guys, two minutes, I, t I took him out before, you know, I took him out for potty before I started this. Dog cam, I have to walk past the dog cam, guys stay, I'll be right back, stay right there.